Here is how you can get to Last Epoch's hidden area, the overgrown alcove. You're gonna have to progress in the story until you have this part unlocked in the Imperial area. You wanna teleport to the Rustlands. We're gonna be going to the Verdant Lakes. I didn't have that area unlocked, so I first had to go here. Then you come over to the right side, you'll see the teleport into Verdant Lakes. Go ahead and take that. Make sure you grab that waypoint. And now we're just gonna make our way all the way around. So this is a hidden area they have. And it's been in the game for quite some time now. I believe no one has found out what the area does. But it does look pretty cool and there's something just interesting about it. To me, it reminded me something similar to, I don't know why, like a mapping system that PoE kind of has. Like it kind of looks like that. Like some type of summoning device or um, some type of altar ritual site. Here, you follow the path that we just took right there. Kill a couple, kill, there should be a boss that was here. I think we killed her just cause our build is just so badass. You come walk into the boulder and bam. Yeah, that's the hidden area. Overgrown alcove. Check it out. Very cool looking figure in the middle structure with uh, interesting runes all over. Maybe it's the rune master's hub. To, it feels, like we might be able to put something in and summon it, like a map summoning summoning device. Whenever you walk towards these structures, they kind of open up. You can't use them right now or interact with them, but it's more than likely a tease for something that they plan on releasing in the future. If you guys get in here and figure something out, let me know and we'll take it from there. These mushrooms look really freaking cool. But yeah, that's the area guys. Here is another hidden area in Last Epoch. This one is the Heoborean Shrine located in Heoborea in the Divine Era. It is the big town right over here. I'll zoom out so you can see exactly where we're going into. Travel to the town Heoborea. There's a few of these hidden areas. So if you wanna know where all of them are, either look for the individual videos that we'll be uploading or I'll probably have one with all of them in a single video as well. So once you're in Heoborea, you wanna go north. Keep going north. It's gonna be in one of these little tents about where the map is about to end. So you come all the way into this tent, keep running into the, the door. It's, it, you won't be able to tell that something's there, but if you run into it, it'll load up the Heoborean Shrine, a hidden area that currently does not have much going on except for the monolith. All of this is gonna be linked together with the monolith in some way, somehow, some form. So if you guys find your way here and you pick up on some mysteries, clues, yeah, let us know in the comments and we'll take it from there. This one has a really cool and weird looking cemetery in the back. So if you come here, make sure you check that part out way in the back. The third hidden area is gonna be in the Imperial era. You're gonna go on over to the Baron Aqueduct. Here it is zoomed out on the map. This one's kind of far, so either follow along pretty closely or I'll have an image uploaded right next to it. You wanna come out of the waypoint, head to the west and then north.
then go east a little bit, back north. It's gonna be one of those caged areas. Mine should be uncaged though. I'm not. Sh I'm not sure if yours would be caged. That place is a dead end. Go west slightly, then keep going north. Again, west slightly, keep going north. And then east, we should be here. This is the area that might be gated off for you. But that's the fractured drain. I'll show you guys the inside of it as well for anyone who's who just wants to see what it looks like from the inside and not go them go there themselves. There's nothing you can do there at a lot of these. I believe the next one has a mini boss, so I'll show you guys that. This one looks like some type of camp. Hiding out from all the monsters, probably prepping for war. Might find some hidden notes and stuff there. That first note that we read, probably part of the lore some way, somehow. This one doesn't look like there's some type of device in the center that you can like put stuff into. So not as interesting as the other ones, but yeah, here's the fractured drain. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Here is how you're gonna find the sealed shrine. It's here on over in the ruined era. You zoom on in and you wanna be going to the courtyard right over here. Close to the temple of Atera. Travels to the courtyard, then we're gonna head southeast from there. So this one doesn't have the mini boss, the last one actually has the mini boss, but still interesting. Anytime you guys find anything that I don't talk about, make sure you put it in the comments. And I definitely want to come up with some wild conspiracies. Just keep heading southeast, <laughs> I'll catch you guys there. We're going east a bit now. You're gonna come across these wooden bridges. I think there's two of them. I just crossed one, yeah, there's a second one. And then when you come across this T section, you wanna take the right, southeast again, just keep going down. And this wall over here, our ball just hit it. So it unlocked it, we can go right into that. And that's the sealed shrine. Oh snap, this one's pretty big. It's freaking massive actually, compared to the last ones. It's got a pretty cool name as well. Oh shit, we just... That one didn't even drop gold. This is actually the first time I've come in here, so... Interesting. This one did drop gold. Here is how you get to the last secret area. It's in the Imperial Wellrin area. I believe it's Wellrin is how you pronounce it, but zoomed out in the Imperial era right in here and this is the waypoint you want to get to once you're in the imperial well run area head to the west west south just keep going south
Then we're gonna go west, keep going down the stairs. There's one more set of stairs. We wanna go down and not up the west side, and then we're gonna go south again. I'll have an image uploaded so it's not as confusing. That door is gonna break down. We're gonna enter. Here's a mini boss. Dude freaking sucks. Dang, he's got like a 20 pack though, look at him. He's freaking built. But he's a trash can. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> he looked pretty cool though. I can't tell where we are, but this place looks pretty cool. It's a whole bunch of bells. All of the hidden areas have their own independent themes, which is really interesting. If any of you guys pick up on things that I'm not picking up on, definitely share them in the comments. And we'll, we'll compile a, a mega joint conspiracy. It looks great. Just walking around, just observing, trying to trying to pick up on little things, but yeah, that's how you get to all of the secret areas in Last Epoch on release. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.